Hello beautiful people, you are welcome once again to the Gearbox show on TV Sapiencia. Today we are here at the Oluchuku Automobile Workshop and Training Center in the city of Onicha. We are here actually to find out what are the things that are needed to keep a vehicle going. I'm talking about maintenance of a vehicle. What are the things that are needed? What do you need to do? You know, most people wake up in the morning, hit the car, start the engine, and drive out. For me, it's totally wrong. In the morning, you need to check your oil level, check the water level of your car engine before kicking off. Now, today, we are here. We're going to talk to some of the personnel of the Oluchuku Automobile Workshop and Training Center, and they are going to tell us what it entails to keep your automobile, to keep your vehicle in shape and intact. Let's walk in and find out. Hello, brother. How are you doing? Great, great. What's your name, please? Chukuma Victor. Chukuma, actually, what are you here in this place? What do you do here? Oluchuku Automobile Workshop. This is where we service, we maintain, and then do all forms of periodic maintenance, preventive maintenance on every kind of cars you can have here in our nature. Oh, that's fantastic. So, um, we are here today to actually find out what it entails to maintain a very good automobile. We know that these automobiles need periodic um, changing of the oil, running a total maintenance on these vehicles and that's why the gearbox show is here today so we are now to you you have to tell us everything because we don't know these things okay first the first thing that is much more paramount is having a good skilled mechanics okay. technicians that can be able to handle these vehicles uh, as you can see now nowadays the vehicles we're having now are becoming more sophisticated with a lot so many so many things now being incorporated into most of all these vehicles and then in order for you to be able to maintain them as such you need skilled mechanics or technicians that can be able to do this job perfectly well then after that then you need good equipment a very good equipment a sophisticated equipment for sophisticated vehicles as well so the equipment are another thing that you need for you to be able to service or maintain this vehicle appropriately the way they ought to be these are the main thing you need for now. Oh, that's fantastic. So, where are we starting the maintenance for today? Okay, fine. Well, we're going to start with this uh, vehicle. This is a Lexus 2017 model. A very highly sophisticated vehicle. Now, the first thing that we need to talk... Just come over. The first thing that we'll look into this, on this particular aspect is the periodic maintenance. Okay. Now, based on uh, the, the Lexus standard, in terms of the manufacturers of these vehicles, they made these vehicles in such a way that at intervals you maintain them. This car should not break down at all on the way. Okay. If a normal or uh, periodic maintenance has been carried out on it, this car does not need to break down at all, at all, in any way, in any way, anyhow. Now we'll look into this one. The first thing we're going to talk about this one is on the oil maintenance service. Now, it has been known that these vehicles are to be maintained periodically. And then, the way you know when you are to change the oil and the oil filter in this vehicle, now it's by the mileage. Okay. The mileage tells you that this car is due for service. By the manufacturers, they made it by standard that every 5,000 5, kilometers, you change the oil and then the filter as every well. 5, every 5,000 kilometers. Every 5,000 kilometers. You the oil. And then the filters as wow. well. Now, wow. in dictals, whether being used or not used, whether the car is being used or not, not used. used. Yeah. In the, the reason is this. Even when the, the oil is still in the vehicle and the car is not being used, oil degrades. Oh. They lose their value gradually. 
they lose their value. So because if you really want to maintain it, so you adhere strictly to their own, because they, when they produce this vehicle, they took so many things into consideration and then they made it in such a way that if it is not done at that period, particular period when we ought to change them, one or two things will start going bad in the engine. Okay. Of course, you know, these are made with metals. Yeah. Uh -huh. So yeah. if it's not properly uh, uh, maintained, wear and tear begins to occur, occur gradually, okay. Okay. gradually, gradually. Now, for this vehicle, again, it has its own maintenance signal. It has its own maintenance fitted signal in fitted in the vehicle. Okay. So as at the, when it's time for you to change oil, the, the, it comes out, telling you that the car is due for you to maintain. Now, we will look into those ones one by one. Now, if you come this way, I cannot skip here. Let me go this way. <laughs> I'm not sure I can skip here more. Let me come this way. All right, I think I'm good now. And you're skipping back, okay. Now, this is a dipstick where you check the oil to know if it is degraded or not. Yeah, this is the dipstick. Now, on this area, is a cover where you pour in the oil, the new oil. Now, we have an equipment, a very good one for this particular purpose. You don't need to go underneath to do this maintenance. And that is this particular machine you see here. This machine, this machine. Wh what is it called? Now, this machine is called the oil collector. Oil collector? The oil collector. Wow. Now, from this spot where you have your dipstick, you will insert this inside. It goes in. Okay. Then, when you operate this equipment, it collects the entire oil from the sump. It collects the whole oil from the sums and then store it into its tank. Okay. So now, when this is being done, the next thing you do is to go into the vehicle and then reset the maintenance schedule that the, so that it will start counting afresh that a new maintenance has been done. So it starts counting prior to the time again the next maintenance will be done. Will be done. Will be done. Now, the essence of this is this. The manufacturers want you to enjoy this vehicle very very well of course so is. they put all this in place so that you'll be able to, to tell you when to change your oil do the services as when do and in order to avoid anything that has to do with wear and tear concerning the engine so that is it for now in terms of the oil maintenance service okay. for this um okay let's go over into the car let me show you one or two things inside the car that has to do with the areas you check okay. in order to set reset the maintenance and all that Come over. This is the, the dashboard of the vehicle and on this dashboard of the vehicle we have a lot of information being displayed on this dashboard of the vehicle. Okay. Now this information on this dashboard tells you if the vehicle is having any particular fault or it gives you the information, the total information of what, on what is going on in the vehicle. Okay. Now you notice that the first thing we have there is the maintenance required which means the car is now due for maintenance, maintenance telling you that you should go visit your mechanic that the car is now due for maintenance and after the maintenance has been done it needs to be reset so it starts counting afresh again now if you look at it on the same screen again you have where it's written srx which has to do with the airbag system telling you that there's something wrong with the airbag system and because of that you need to come to your mechanic for them to rectify that particular uh, fault now I'm saying this in details in order for you to understand that these vehicles are meant to tell you when you are to visit your mechanic for the next service or for the next thing that needs to be done on the vehicle. Okay. So the manufacturers have made it in such a way that it assists you okay. in maintaining. And you also, being the owner of the vehicle, should also be aware of whatever every other noise or whatever new development you notice on your, that comes up on the vehicle. So when you notice any of these, you move straight to your mechanic and then request for the attention and then for them to look into it and then get it fixed immediately okay. for the car to perform optimally the way it ought to be. Okay. So this is it for now. So what it means is this vehicle right now you don't have to say assuming you, you, you have a timetable of when you run your maintenance. Say you do it in you do it in two, two or three, three weeks. 
this car it doesn't work like that for this vehicle no because the vehicle has the right it has the equipment to tell you that listen you don't have to wait on to two weeks to do a maintenance yes it could be done tomorrow yes oh no. fantastic for the vehicles that doesn't have this for the vehicle that doesn't have this based on the manufacturer's specification there it is it is ideal to service them every three months or every 5,000 kilometers, okay. whichever one comes first. The three months first, or the 5,000 kilometers first, whichever one that comes first. Now, when we talk about, when we go into the issue of the kind of oils you make use of, now you will know, find out that not just the 5,000 kilometers alone, depend, it depends majorly on the kind of oil you make use of. There are oils that could stay for six months, there are oils that could stay for three months. So because they have different grades and different qualities of oils, depending on which one you are using, then you know the number of months that you have to stay for you to do this. So we'll move over to another section that, uh, when we talk about uh, other different things now. So come along. All right, guys, you can see this is great. <laughs> it's good to be here, man. Let's go. <laughs> Wisdom for life. I am Fado Sia Lawyer Rafa. My name is Lian Ikedigwe. Freshman JN. JJ Agada Guzi. Reverend Father Benjamin Ucho Bunoko. Chief Ifani Orakwe. Mark Davis. Reverend Father Emmanuel Kenich Kumwapo. Peter Kafo. I sit also. I have three Ekoma. Jude Joman. Ifani Chris Ibemere. Ujuma Unko. Joe Ibo. Martin Ezibo. DJ Jovia. Patrizio Di Fumuchino. Cynthia Mursa, the glowing of God's decay. Engineer Chuko I am Oma. My name is Ivy. You're watching TV Sapiencia. 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 The TV that makes a difference. Sapiencia. Wisdom for life. Now, based on what I, uh, I mentioned earlier on, concerning using a subsequent equipment in doing most of all these jobs, this is a scissors lift. We call this a scissors lift. This is scissors lift. Yes, a scissors lift. Now, okay. This scissors lift is used to lift the vehicle up. Okay. Now, in this particular section, what we do most in this section has to do with the suspension systems on each every vehicle. Mm. This is where we work the suspension systems. As you can see, the vehicle is being lifted up and you have the shock absorbers. We have the digs, the brake pads and all that. So any work that has to do with suspension system can easily be done here. Okay. Can easily be done here. If you look at this vehicle now, you can see that the shock yes, is I, bad. I, I can see that, yes. So the shock is bad. So this car has come for us to work on the shock. We have to lose this shock and then maintain it, service this shock and then replace it with a new, a better one, a new one. It is always advisable that we make use of uh, new parts. New parts. New parts. It's okay. always advisable. New and original parts okay. is what is advisable. Now, if you go around the vehicle, you will find out that the entire leg is up. It gives you ease access, quick access, and ease access for you to walk or do whatever thing you want to do on underneath. the underneath. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So come, let's go around. Yeah. So you can on the same area as well, okay. you can see. So whoever is going to work here is balanced, stands balanced to work on the vehicle. Whatever thing that needs to be losing here can be losing appropriately without damaging any other parts of the vehicle, the vehicle. which is unlike what is being obtainable in the, the roadside, roadside mechanics. mechanics. You will find out that when you go to those roadside mechanics, in the course of doing a particular thing, another thing will also be damaged yeah. as well. So the equipment assists us in doing a perfect job in most of all these vehicles. So anything that has to do with underneath, underneath. you need the scissors, what did it call? Scissors lift. Scissors lift yes. to lift the vehicle yes. 
and have access beneath. Okay, great. This is nice. Now, OXO, in this, this is what the OXO use for brain weight balancing. Each time we want to do weight balancing, we use it to lose the four tires. Okay. Drop the four tires and then take the tires for the balancing machine okay. where the balancing is being done. So we'll move over to the balancing machine and then I'll show you how the balancing is being done on the tires. Okay. Wow, guys, you can see. It's always good to do this. This is a computerized wheel balancer. Now, this wheel balancing machine is used to adjust the weight of the tires. The weight of the tire and the rim you have here. Now, most times when you drive your vehicle, you notice that at at some particular speed that the vehicle is shaking, either the steering is shaking or that the entire vehicle is also shaking. Now, this is what will adjust and then will make the particular shaking you are, you are experiencing in that vehicle to stop. Now, the way you know when your vehicle is having wind balancing problem is when as from 80 kilometers, as from 80 kilometers, you notice that the vehicle is shaking. Most times the steering might be shaky. 80 to 100, 100 to 120, and sometimes when you see that 120, it stops. Or when you see that 80, it stops. It then means that the vehicle needs to be balanced. The whole four tires needs to be balanced. The balancing is done with this equipment. And then all you have to do is you have to add weight. We call this weight. And each of these weights has their grams, their weight. Next is 30 grams. Next one is 25 grams. Likewise, we have this one again, which we call the sticker weight. The sticker weight is of 10, 10 grams and 5, 5 grams. Now, when you are balancing, you're fitting the, the tire and the rim in the equipment. You tighten it up. Tighten is firmly. It must be firm. It must be firm. Yeah. Okay. Now, after tightening, you come and then you do some settings. You set the, the, the machine according to the specification of your rim. You set the machine according to the specification of your rim. Now, in setting, you look at this. This is what you use to measure, to know the size. You measure. This is seven. You pick up that. The seven. The seven. Is it the, the diameter? Okay, the, the diameter, diameter of, of the of the ring. Yes. Okay. Then you come over to the machine. And you put the seven. Seven. Now, next. Particular tire is what is a 17 rims. Okay. Is a 17 rims. Okay. So you come over and then you set your 17 rims. Okay. Now after next settings, you do what? You cover. Wow. Immediately you cover its rooms. Oh really? Calculating the different size. You know the difference in the weight of different sizes. Now on this, you can see the inner is giving us what 25. Okay. And then the outer is giving us zero. Zero. In other words, the outer, this area, is okay. But the inner here, we need a 25 to offset it to zero. In other words, what this means is this is 25 grams heavier than the other side. This is 25 grams heavier than the other side. So what we do, than the other side. So what we need to do is we'll look for a weight of 25, a weight of 25, and add to this side. So when you add this weight of 25 to this area, it offsets it. It becomes zero zero. So once it becomes zero zero, it then means that this tire is what balanced. You balance it. So let us add and see what. It No, wait. 
Hold on. Let me find the actual hot to find. Now let's check. You have zero zero. zero. Wow. You have zero zero. I so, saw that. So what it means now is wow. this particular tire and the rim is properly balanced. Balanced. So if you have this in your car, there will be nothing like vibration that has to do with balance. Okay. That, this is what this equipment is used for. What, what's the name of this equipment? A wheel balancing machine. 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 Yes. Okay. A wheel balancing machine. Okay. That's what they call this equipment. And it's a computerized one, not a local one. You can see it written. But everything here is digital. Oh. It's a computerized one. So this is one of the sophisticated equipment we use in solving our customers' problem when their vehicles come around. But, but I've seen, I've seen both side mechanics do this in their own way. So what it means is there is 50% possibility that what you get from a roadside mechanic is not actually what is obtainable. No, it's not. Because this is an automated machine doing this. And that's one of the good reasons to come to a well-equipped mechanic workshop. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, we will move to the next section that has to do with the alignment. Okay. We will move to the next section that has to do with the alignment. Okay. So, let's move over to that area. Alright. Now, next is a four-wheel aligner. We call this the four-wheel aligner. The product name is a Super Tracker. This is the equipment you use in setting your alignment. In setting your alignment. Now, the question now is, how do you know that your alignment is not okay? in a vehicle when you are driving. The only way you know that your alignment is not okay when you are driving is when you are on a straight road, running on a straight road, you leave your steering. The vehicle is meant to move on that same straight road when you are not holding the steering. But when you leave your steering and the vehicle drifts to either side, right or left, it then means your alignment is not okay. So you need to visit what a workshop where an alignment can be done in order to correct that. Again, in six, when you notice that a particular side of your tire is wearing more than the other side, this is your tire, one area of the tire is wearing off than the other side, then it's an alignment problem. It's the, 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 the reason for that is our alignment. So what you need to do is to come to a workshop where they have a four-wheel aligner machine and they will use that to correct it. The wearing of the tire now will be solved. Now, let's look at this. This is my colleague under the vehicle handling the alignment on this particular vehicle. Now the reason why this is called a four-wheel aligner is you can do the alignment both in front and at the back. You can do alignment with this machine both in front and at the back. Now he is on the back side of the vehicle trying to adjust trying to adjust the back side of the vehicle so that this particular wheel both sides of the wheels will be aligned to the front one. Now, the procedure for doing this is this. When the front, the back one is done, you do the back one first. When you are done with the back one, you move over to the, what, the front one, and then you align the front one. Now, with this equipment, when properly done, issues that have to do with car drifting left or right will be solved. Issues that have to do with the tires wearing off from any side of the tires will be solved. You have a smooth ride whenever you are driving your vehicle. So this is a super tracker that's named for the particular breed of alignment. There are different types. There are different types of this. This is the one we have and this is the one we make use of. Okay. This is the one we make use of. Now the cameras are being positioned on the vehicles. This is one camera here on this particular tire here. Then the other one is, is this actually a camera? Yes, it's a camera. There's a communication between this area to the other one. Oh. There's a communication from this side to the other side. Okay. Giving you the signals on how to adjust in order for this to be straight. Wow. 
giving you the, the, the graduations here from 10 to 0 and then 0 to 15. So whichever ones, either two in or two out. If it is on two in or two out, you will see it here. And from here, you adjust it to the middle. When it's been adjusted to the middle, it then means that the legs are down straight. So when you drive, you drive on the straight wheel, even when you leave your steering. That's the proper way it ought to be. So now that you've not when it's done with this roll, they will do the same thing to the front wheels as well. Okay. Now this is for the alignment section. Okay. Okay. Now, so let's move over to another section where we we'll talk about. A two post lift. This two post lift is used to lift the vehicle entirely up. So let's see how it goes up. All you have to do is press the button and then you start lifting the vehicle up. As you can see, it has a safety device. The safety device is what is making this noise. So each time you move to a particular step, the safety lock locks it. You move to the next level, the safety lock locks it. You are rest assured that you are safe, are safe being under the veil. Isn't this fantastic? It is. So okay. now, one can come underneath the veil. I should come? Yes, you can. <laughs> I'm scared. No, you don't need to be scared. All right, let me join you. So you can Ooh. inspect the entire underneath the vehicle using this equipment. Mm. This is the, the exhaust, the exhaust manifold. You can look at the exhaust manifold, check this is a propeller shaft and other things. Inspect the underneath to be sure that nothing is wrong. Whatever thing you find wrong with the car, then you have them fixed. With this, it's so easy for you to work on this. Yes, definitely I can see that. Very much easy. This is a tank. This is the rear azo of this particular car. So anything you want to do here becomes very easy for you to work with. Okay. So that is what the two-post lift does. So what us. actually you call this machine again? What is it called? It's a two-post lift. Two-post? Two-post, yes, two-post lift. Okay. Because it has two stands okay. with the arms to lift the vehicle up. up. Okay. Yeah, it's called a two-post lift. Wow. So this is one of the sophisticated equipment we have. Honestly, yeah, yeah, looking at this is quite sophisticated. Yes, it's not easy to have this around town. Exactly. Yeah. That's a plus to you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, people, you've had it all. It's been an awesome day here at the Oluchuku Automobile Workshop and Training Center. Today, you've had it all about your car maintenance. It's important you maintain this automobile so that they can give you actually all the best of what they have got you need to maintain them so that they can serve you for a long time and i mean once the in your engine and your, your 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 vehicle body parts are cool you are good to go any time of the day and remember once you get out in the morning make sure you check your oil level check your water level before starting the engine this is paramount this is very important guys remember this is the gearbox show on tv sapiencia Remember always to drop your opinions on our social media platforms that appears on the screen. I remain Patrick Noble or Kabo. We'll be here same time next week to bring you another edition of the Gearbox Show on TV Sapiencia. I remain Patrick Noble or Kabo. See you.